I'm gonna spend the next 24 hours searching for sharks. Very dramatic. The 24 hours starts now. So I need to think of a way to find a shark that is not conventional like Jaws. So the search began, and honestly, this is gonna be pretty exciting, and I'm excited for this because finding a shark, I mean, come on. And then it stops. P pretty shortly. Yeah, uh, th this is what happened. So, um, literally, the tire just popped. That was a very quick ending to the journey so far. We got a long, a long walk back. But that's not gonna stop us. We've got a shark to search for. <laughs> That was a pretty cool shot, wasn't it? Also, if you guys are interested in uh, seeing more about this camera, this is the Insta360. You can do weird shots like this. Look like I'm walking on the earth, which I am. <laughs> if you wanna see more about it, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll make a full video about this camera. And as I was on the way back, getting up towards the top of the bridge, I had an idea. I had an idea. I'm thinking that I can use this drone right here to fly above the ocean, look down on the shallow water, and then just look for big, moving objects in the water. And I just happen to have the drone with me, so what a bang, what a bang, look at that. Now it was a little bit windy outside, and I was a little bit concerned with the strength of the wind and how strong the drone is, so I took it off anyways and said, let's go. Now the first issue here is that my phone's a little bit older and it wasn't connecting to the remote, so I had to fly line of sight and literally just look at the drone from where I was standing because my phone wouldn't connect. So I started looking, and obviously since the drone is uh, flying and I'm not looking at the screen, well, I've just spent like an hour, okay, not really an hour, like probably like 10 minutes, looking at the drone footage to see if I found a shark, and there's no shark. But! I did find this. A porta potty. Yeah, there's a porta potty, and I found some street signs. And I kind of wanted to grab the street signs, but then I Googled and found out that it was kind of illegal to take them, so I didn't take the street signs. Plus, it was next to a porta potty. I mean, who's gonna walk in the water right next to a porta potty that's flipped over? I mean, it's kind of gross, right? Back to the drone flying. It was pretty windy, but I was able to land the drone. And now, the search continues. On the way back, I found a shortcut, went through the park, and then I encountered some stairs. Uh, this random lady staring at the camera as she walked by, probably wondering what it is. These stairs are a bit of a pain in the butt, and then I realized there was a ramp right next to it. Could've used that. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> and on the way back, I saw this guy painting some really cool art, so I stopped by to say hello. Muy bien. Now honestly, I have no idea how good this audio is going to be because it is like super windy out. And now, continuing the long walk. I'm not running out of ideas, but I gotta think of a way to find a shark. I mean, obviously this drone thing doesn't seem to be that good because the water's like super murky here, number one. Number two, What's the odds of just seeing a shark with a drone? I mean, and with everything that happened and the dirty water, not being able to see through, my phone not connecting to the drone, it was back to square one. I began doing some research and something interesting came up. It's called Shark Alley. Uh, it's apparently located right here. It's like a few miles north of where I just was at the bridge. It should have sharks. I mean, in the name is shark. We got to get there. Well, I got this right here. So I began to prepare for the expedition. Camera equipment, hydration, and of course, candy bars. I mean, you, you gotta have candy bars, right? So I was heading down the road, and then I had to stop for gas because the jet ski was empty from my last trip. And then I noticed that it said cash only at the gas pump, so I had to go inside, but the 360 was still on the jet ski. 
And I kind of was thinking, like, should I be leaving this camera just sitting on the back of a jet ski? Some guy could walk by, literally just grab it and... where people would have a hard time backing up, but not today. I'm a professional. This cool guy came up to me and asked if I was a streamer, so I told him I was a, actually a YouTuber. You want to be on the video? You'll see yourself maybe on this camera. What is it? Uh, it's called King Builds. King Builds. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Right on. Okay. Thank you. Maximus. Max. Pleasure to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. Hey, there we go. Another subscriber. <laughs> that means you should, you should subscribe too, guys. Come on. Like, seriously. Everything was looking good until the parking meters didn't work and it said uh, meter not working. And I didn't want to get a ticket, so there happened to be a city guy there and I asked him, I said, hey. I was wondering if you know that meter's not working. Do we have to, where do we pay for oh, parking? Oh, jeez. That's not working. It says meter out of use. Well, I know there's another one up the hill. And, if that, and, and then there's one over on that corner. But if they're not working, I would write a note and say, I tried all three, they're out of service. Okay. Don't ticket me. <laughs> all right, do you have a piece of paper by any chance? Uh, that's, the, that's the dude sitting in there. Okay. He might find the truck. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a piece of paper by any chance? Yes, sir. Or just something, uh, just to write like, meters did not work. <laughs> I appreciate it, man, no thank problem, you. Man. All right, he's ready for an adventure. It gets clear as I get out there for Shark Alley. We'll see. Fingers crossed. A few miles in, I kind of got confused which direction I was supposed to be going because there's a channel over there, and then there's a channel over that way, both headed in the same direction. I wasn't really sure, so I said, Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, and took the left one. See a little tower there on the right? It's like super tiny and then there we go. That's where I'm thinking of heading, so I think that's good. We'll we'll find out once we once we get closer, we'll find out if that's where we're supposed to go. And that right there, that, man, my camera actually makes it look like it's super far away. It's like right there, but that red tower I believe is called In the Island. Means I think we're headed the right direction. Like my hair? Yeah, man. Let's go. So I wasn't sure if this was the right area, but I ended up going a little bit further. And what do you know? At last, here's some water that is not red. I mean, or brown. Like this is actually decently 
clear and I think we are here. <laughs> that rhymes. It's a large area, shallow water. I mean, like crystal clear. You can see all the way to the bottom, like five feet deep. Amazing. Soon enough, I saw some, I saw a manta ray, like right away. Here's some stingrays, but no sign of any sharks just yet. I mean, and I am just looking for my eyes on the jet ski. So I need to find a place to launch the drone. Went over to this island area, realized that it was too shallow, almost got stuck. Uh, that was close. That is super shallow right there. Went around to the other side. All right. It's not super deep. It's a little creepy looking. It's just like a random little dock. All right, here we are. This candy bar, it's really good. I mean, come on, what's an adventure without chocolate bar, right? And I figured, okay, I'll just launch the drone from here and it should be able to reach all the way to Shark Alley. this far but the drone didn't necessarily make it all the way to shark alley and i could see that there wow like there's not really not really many sharks here i can't see anything from above so i brought the drone back and then i realized there is a ton of no on this island i mean they're biting like every two seconds you get a bite from a no so it's kind of ridiculous hot 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 it's hot there's bugs biting holy shoot Good thing this thing is like super fast to put away. It's ridiculous. We're getting out of here. All right, let's go, come on. We didn't see any sharks this first round because the drone reached its max flight distance. So we're just gonna have to take it off from the jet ski where there's no bugs out that way in the ocean. Why did I just turn the camera? I don't know, it's a 360 camera. I can just turn it like that, right? Okay. We're getting out of here. That's good to know. These islands are infested with noceums. So, if you go to an island that's in the ocean, there's a pretty good chance that there's a lot of bugs just waiting for a human to come so they can suck their blood. All right. Well, we're gonna go back to the um, the shallow water area where we can actually see through the water. Kept searching. Saw some seaweed. Just seaweed. More seaweed. Some more seaweed. And then I started thinking, like, what's the chances of actually seeing a shark? And things were looking kind of down and gloomy because, well, the Insta360, the battery was low, just about to die. At this point, I was ready to go back, call it a day, and maybe just go to an aquarium and find a shark. Turn to the left, and right before I hit the throttle, what do you know, there's a baby shark. Literally a baby hammerhead shark right in the water in front of me. Oh my gosh, no way. He's so cute. My mind was blown. I mean, what's the odds? Literally right before I was about to give up. There's a shark. There's a stingray. Gosh, this guy is so cute. Well, that's just crazy. We actually found a shark, guys. Look at that. He's really, he's really tiny, you know? Uh, he's still shark, though. He's very cute. Like, honestly, I, I want to, like, pick him up. But he could probably, probably bite your finger off. But really, the only thing that really sucks is I actually put my Insta360 in the water. And uh, it, I got right next to him, but I left the screen unlocked. So it must have swiped out, stopped recording, and then the battery now is too low to start recording again. But yeah, here he is. Little baby type, little baby hammerhead. Hi guys, so I've successfully found a shark in under 24 hours. And this just shows guys, never give up on your dreams, never give up on your hopes, because literally it could be around the corner. And in this case, a foot lower in the water, just literally swimming right by. 
and if I would have closed my eyes and looked the other direction, I would have missed it. So, don't give up, guys. Literally. I found a shark in, 24, in less than 24 hours. So with this sense of accomplishment, it was a great day. I accomplished finding a shark in less than 24 hours, and it's been an awesome journey. So, cue the cool music. All right, guys, well, it's time to go back now because we found a shark, and uh, I'm literally cooking out here, so let's rock and roll. Insta360 is dead, so iPhone POV, let's go. Thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Turn on notifications so you get